It's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Leo. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of November. Okay, a lot of you are going to watch this in October. It's really for November, so let's see what comes up. What do we have? Oh, my little stands aren't here. I'm unprepared. Keep in mind that everything that happens during a reading is part of the reading. So you may be unprepared for something. Okay, there's some sort of lack of preparation. All right, which is interesting. Um, may need to get set up really fast. Um, whatever that means. So what do we got for Leo? Love begins, the Ace of Cups. So this is happiness, love, new beginning, a new beginning in love. Um, feeling loved, expressing love. This is a flood of emotion, okay? Very, very happy, a happy new beginning, okay? Um, that's beautiful. It really is. I mean, the Ace of Cups, your very first card, that's, that's a... New start in love. That's happiness, affection. Um, things getting better. Things getting better. So what do we have for Leo? Peace. We got peace. The storm is over. Ace of Wands. Two aces. Clean slate. Okay, this, you know, this is a blank canvas. You get, you get to paint the picture, you know, you get to choose. This is an, ex this is beautiful. We got two ones. I mean, this is a, this is an exciting new beginning for you. Uh, wow. Wow. Um, oh my God. Are you ready for this? Ace of coins on the bottom. This, this this is unbelievable. Okay, it really is. I mean, this is these are new beginnings. This, these are it's a very fertile time. It's a time of growth. You have the paintbrush. You have the tools. You are going to be creating. I don't know a new life, a new beginning, some whatever it is. It's beautiful. Okay, this is exciting. It's emotional. This is a blank slate, though. It's a blank canvas. It's it's drawing your own picture, uh, creating a new life, creating what you want, creating whatever you want. So, wow. Wow. Um, new desire, new spark. It's just, it's, and it's all of a sudden, a sudden new beginning here. It's, I don't even know what to say. You may not be able, you may not know what to say. Um... Something, there's an opening up here. There's like a gateway opening up for you. Just go for it. Just go for it, whatever it is. Let yourself go. I think we'll take those. Ooh, weeping willow, family sorrow. October. Something could be happening in October. A fly. A period of ill health and depression. Now that's interesting. Maybe that's in October. In November, things get better. This and It's interesting because one, okay, one and one, that's 11. 11 is October. I mean, uh, November. November. Here we have October. In October, you may be going through some ill health, some sort of depression or some family sorrow. But things get better in November, okay? 11. That is an 11, which is in November. November is going to start you off on a clean slate, okay? So, smile, okay? Think positive. You definitely have a new beginning here. You may be experiencing family sorrow. Um, somebody's sick. Maybe it's you, okay? Um, I don't know what is going on, but whatever it is, you have a new beginning here, okay? This is emotional. Uh, it's an emotional new start. Um, 
clean slate, blatant canvas, starting over, starting from scratch. I mean, it's, it's beautiful, it really is. Painting a picture, painting a new picture. What do we have for Rio for November? Ooh, two of cups reverse. Now that's a separation. It is a detachment, but this is something new. And sometimes you have to detach from something that isn't meant for you so something new can come in. Okay? So this is a disconnection. It's a separation or a loss. It, I can't make it up of a partner. I don't know what kind of partner it is, but of a relationship. This is a separation from a from a relationship. There's disharmony. There's an imbalance. There's incompatibility. It's an unhappy couple. This is an argument or a breakup or losing a friendship or something like that. But there is obviously a reason because we have new love here. We have a new exciting beginning here. So, but this is a separation of some sort. It is what it is. Um... Page of Pentacles or Knight of Pentacles reverse, working really hard to grow. To grow. This is. I feel like you have a new sexual partner for some of you. This is. A, there's a new sexual partner here. Maybe somebody you work with. Um, there could also be somebody coming back from your past, and I know that a lot of you don't like that. I don't care for that myself, but that is, we have the Six of Cups here, which is somebody from the past, and this could be a reconciliation. It could also be a new start in love. If you are in a relationship and things are rocky, there's disharmony, you've been fighting, you know, there could be a chance to, things are going to get better, okay? Things are going to get better in the relationship, but this is communication, communication going back and forth you are going to be communicating with somebody but it feels like you're moving forward from an individual that is sloppy this is somebody that is sloppy irresponsible unfaithful uh, lazy uh, not qualified unemployed uh, sponger you may be dealing with somebody like that now now for you cross watchers you know, this reading could be for you. This reading can always go vice versa. There is somebody here that doesn't work. This person doesn't work. There's one person that does and one person that doesn't. Okay? That's not equal playing ground. That's not equality. There's an, and there, there isn't here. So anyway, this is moving away from, moving away from a sponge or some, so whatever. Anyhow, there is, with the Six of Cups, there's memories. There's memories. There's nostalgia. There's, uh, Something about children as well with this Six of Cups. I feel like there, feels like there could be some sort of uh, reconciliation. Maybe it's between children. I don't know. Um, but this is working. Somebody, something, somebody working really, really hard to, to grow. Somebody is trying to grow something. They're working hard to grow. Maybe something to do with a child. We may have somebody that isn't. I don't know if there's food issues here. Because uh, this is food issues as well. So somebody may not be eating properly. Page of Pentacles reversed. That is lack of commitment. Um, lacking common sense. Unhealthy. So this is unhealthy. Somebody's not healthy. And we see that over here. A period of ill health. We got somebody here that needs to put in more effort into their health. They need to they need to work on their health more. They need to be more realistic as well. There's poor hygiene here as well. Somebody's not really taking care of themselves. They need to take care of themselves. This is somebody who has lost sight of their goals, you know? They've lost sight. They've lost sight of their goals. They need to focus. They keep getting distracted. Somebody has not planned sufficiently. They haven't put in much effort and they need to work a little bit harder. Now the Page of Pentacles reversed. Uh, whoa. That's not something not, somebody not wanting to put in any effort, not really wanting to. Just, it's almost like, hmm. This is about give and take. It's about receiving. Uh, Somebody is, it's almost like taking something away and giving it to somebody else. 
balance. It's about restoring balance. Something, somebody needs to restore balance in their life. They need to put in effort. Somebody's going to be getting, they're going to be getting an opportunity. But it's being taken away, taken away and given to somebody else. Which is interesting. Because this is give and take. Six of Pentacles is generosity. It's, it is. But this is not. This is losing focus, not putting in effort into, into giving. Somebody needs to give something. Now, this is good news. Typically, the Page of Wands, good news is coming. Something something is about to burst into your world. Somebody that is very, that is a perfect match, you know, good suitor. This is somebody that is very well suited, that is about to arrive. This is an exchange. One of somebody lazy for somebody that is better suited, which is interesting. You have a new exciting opportunity to go on an adventure and, you know, this is definitely an adventure, an exciting new adventure here, a new direction. Somebody is going in a new direction. We got a new discovery, traveling, creating a new path after losing focus. So it's interesting. This is about receiving an opportunity. Somebody is going to be receiving an opportunity to go in a new direction. This is going to, this is like, it's very exciting. It's a very fertile time. It's a time of growth. It's a time of excitement. Just go for it. Just do it. I feel like, Leo, you're going to be receiving something uh, that you didn't plan on receiving. This is like unplanned, which is interesting. Maybe it's a new job offer. Mm, it could be a new job offer. Something about the Queen of Pentacles reversed. Ooh, Queen of Wands reversed. Oh my God. There's somebody here that is, uh, there's some sort of rivalry or something by the looks of things. Woo. Hmm. There's instability. There's somebody here that is unstable. They're unrealistic. Uh, they're forceful. Um, we have somebody here that doesn't want to take any responsibility for their actions at all. Um, doesn't really have the means to uh, take care of somebody. Maybe not the financial means or the, there's poor health here as well. This is interesting. This is very, very, very interesting. This is lack of financial stability. The Queen of Pentacles reverse is somebody that isn't very stable. Okay, this person isn't stable. They're not secure. They're very stubborn, very jealous. There's definitely a jealous energy here. Overly protective. May have somebody here that has some health issues, uh, food issues. Uh, not very practical. With the Page of Pentacles reversed and the Queen of Pentacles reversed, we have somebody here that isn't, is lacking common sense. Um... <laughs> The Queen of Wands reverse, and the Queen of Wands reverse is very forceful, okay? Um, there could be some jealousy, revengeful, uh, unhealthy. We have somebody here that isn't healthy. It's clear, a period of ill health and depression. So there's somebody here that isn't healthy. Very, very uh, insecure as well. There's a lot of laziness here too. Somebody is super lazy. They can't find their drive or their ambition to put in effort to work on their health. So there's health problems here. Let's go over here. Oh, jeez, some crawl. The tower, the tower, that's an unexpected uh, conflict, okay? The tower, that's that's a shock, that's a disturbance. There's going to be an internal disruption, an accident, uh, a life change. 
we have somebody here that is going to be experiencing a disruption okay an internal disruption and just it, this is a shock shock to the system um, the tower this is an uproar there's going to be a separation. There is a separation. Somebody is going to be shocked. I don't know if there's been some sort of cheating, you know, because this is somebody, this is the, the, the page of the Knight of Pentacles reverse somebody that's unfaithful. There's a lot of jealousy here in this reading too. Somebody is communicating with somebody that they, that, that maybe is married. Um, maybe in a, in a, there is a rivalry here. So I would beware if that is the case. Oh boy. So, hmm. that tower is, is being, uh, somebody may be getting thrown out. They're going to be getting thrown out. This, this is a major disruption. Light is going to be shed on a situation. Uh, this is like lightning. It's like lightning strikes and boom. This is a, this is a, pivotal moment where something gets shown something gets revealed and stops put something to a stop I'm not sure exactly what it is it's going to be a change there is it's going to be a change somebody has been playing games they've been uh, going back and forth they've been uh, making poor decisions you're gonna to need to adapt as well you're gonna to need to be flexible I feel like you're going to be receiving a message that shocks you. Okay, this message shocks you. Um, I wonder if it has to do with an X. You know, this because the Knight of Pentacles can be an X. You know, and it could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, a Scorpio, um, Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You may receive some news about somebody. It's going to be shocking news, whatever it is. This is shocking news that this is a change. Okay, this is a change. Two Pentacles. I mean, the two of. Uh, yeah, it is a Two of Pentacles. That is a change. You're gonna. You're gonna. This is a. This is a. change in circumstances of some sort. I think you're going to be receiving some shocking news that allows you to uh, go on a new adventure, whatever that means. Um, you're going to need to adapt and be flexible because this is starting over again with a clean slate. Something is happening in your life that it's like you got to build a new foundation. You're going to be building from the ground up. Okay? You're going to be starting over from scratch. This is a blank canvas. It really is. Okay, once this this uproar happens, this event, whatever it is, you are forced to, you know, start over, you know? There's no going back. There's no going back there. You, you can't go back. It's, it's over. I think you have been going back and forth. You have been. You've been juggling, right? This is juggling, going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. This is the universe, okay? The universe says, no, you can't keep going back and forth. This is stop. Stop. Stop going back and forth. This is the universe, okay? Universe says, stop communicating. Stop going back and forth detach work on yourself put in effort put in effort to go down that new path stop losing track work on yourself you have an exciting opportunity to start fresh you have somebody that is very well suited for you that where you will be on equal playing ground where there will be 
It won't be one-sided. It will be equal. This month you're going to, I feel like you're going to uh, receive a message from somebody that is very well suited for you. This is a suitor that is, you know, very well suited. Okay, put it that way. It's another fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, by the looks of things. This is somebody that uh, you have a lot in common with. Good news is arriving. An offer or an invite from somebody, you are going to be receiving an offer or an invite. And this could even be a job offer if you're looking for a job. But you have to have confidence as well. There's insecurities here and there's lack of confidence. Be confident in your abilities. Be confident in your looks. Be confident in yourself. Okay? I feel like you have a lot to offer and perhaps you don't even know it. There's self-doubt. Let go of those doubts. This is interesting. You definitely have an exciting new opportunity here. Somebody is going to be communicating with you that is very attracted. Somebody is attracted to you, but it's not who you think it is. Okay, it's not. And that's the problem. I do feel like it's somebody that you grew up with. I've shuffled and we got this again. It's somebody from your childhood, somebody that you grew up with. When I say somebody from your past, it's somebody that you knew a long time ago, like when you were a child. Okay, it's not, and it doesn't mean that you dated them because I don't think that is the case. Okay, I think it's somebody new. I do think it's somebody new, but it's somebody you know. Whoever this person is, they are going, they could reawaken your memories of love. They could, they could help you to remember what love is if you would let them give them a chance. So Leo, you have a new opportunity. It's an exciting opportunity, but you're, I think you dealt yourself. And whoever is offering you an opportunity, opportunity, they are very generous. They are, you're going to be offered a very generous, whatever it is, opportunity. You may not think that you're adequate or you may not think that you're good enough, but you are. You are. Maybe you're down and depressed over some sort of family sorrow. That could be the case. And maybe that this tower event is what brings this person in. Okay? This person may be at a distance. They're coming in. You're not even looking. Okay? They're coming in. They're coming in on the plane or the ship or whatever. They're coming in. You don't even see it. You know, maybe this is the one that is, is coming to the rescue. You're in some sort of... Uh, disastrous situation that is falling apart or has falling apart meanwhile somebody else is arriving you know you don't even see them you don't even and you don't see them because you keep on going back and forth you've been going back and forth playing juggling with with some sort of false sense of security maybe somebody that's already attached oh man come on jesus christ excuse my language there is a new opportunity for love here. There absolutely is. It starts with yourself, though. Self-love comes first. We definitely have somebody here don't know their value. You get the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. That is somebody don't know their value. Doesn't know their worth. Lack of self-esteem. Lack of self-confidence right here. The Queen of Wands reverse. That would be you. You're taking on both energies. Come on now. Put in effort into valuing who you are, your uniqueness, your own beauty. Anyhow, Leo, I feel like this month you can expect a major change. Okay, there is going to be a major change. Your life is about to change. You're about Somebody is about to arrive into your life that uh, really probably shakes you up. 
This may shake up your foundations. This person starts communicating with you and it really, really shakes you up. You know, maybe you're not looking for some of you. You're not looking for a partnership, right? You just want to be alone. You know, you're, you're in bitch mode or whatever mode you're in. If you're a man, you know, you're just, you don't want to be with anybody. And well, here they are. I do feel like there is a new opportunity. There's a new opportunity here. You may not be looking for it, but it's coming. It is absolutely coming. So, um, this is somebody who wants to give you something. They want to give you what you deserve. But I, this person may not, uh, well, they're not who you think they are. You may have missed this opportunity in the past as well because you were playing games with the wrong one. This is definitely somebody you know. I know that it is. I feel like it's another fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It could be a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Whatever it is, this is my guides are saying, go for it. Go for it. Take the opportunity. It's a good one. Good luck. 